Uh, good afternoon. In this session, we will learn about uh, uh, Android emulator, uh, Android emulator and SDK managers. Uh, Android emulator is related with SDK manager because inside SDK manager, all the packages that are meant to be used with um, for uh, code, uh, meant to be used with Android Studio are there. Android Studio provides an environment where users can uh, write the code for application and in order to run the application, these software packages are needed. These software packages are inside SDK Manager and uh, whenever this, uh, any software packages are enabled, uh, then Android Studio uh, launches the internet and then download it and install it in accordance with it. So in order to run the emulator, in order to run the emulator means uh, after completing the app, we have to see a real time environment, how the app is performing and that is the work of emulator. In order to run the emulator, you have to install Intel Emulator Accelerator Package inside Android Studio. It is the process where the virtual Android smartphone should run with it. During the process of Android Studio installation, there are chances that you might have not installed it. So first, we should check this out and here the importance of SDK Manager comes about. So first, we open the SDK Manager from here by taking a year. Inside SDK Manager, where listing of all downloadable software packages can be seen. Now, in the SDK Manager, we in the appearance behavior, we go to Android SDK and in the appearance behavior, then system setting, then Android SDK. Here, it is the manager of all Android SDK and tools that should be used by the Android Studio and then it has uh, three types, SDK platforms, SDK tools and SDK updated sites. SDK updated site means updated packages. Which packages we have, those packages we have updated are being listed here. Now, in SDK platform, each Android SDK platform package includes the Android platform and sources pertaining to the API label by the default. So, we have installed Android 7.1.1 Nougat and API level is 25 and it is shown as installed and the checkbox is there. There is no need to install all these Android platform because this will make uh, the Android Studio heavier and loading time will become more. In order to know the detail of the install package, you go to show package details. Here we see Android 7.11 Nougat and here we have installed it. Uh, we have, there are many sub elements of it, we install Android SDK platform 25, sources for Android 25. Because first we will learn about, uh, because first, first we will uh, learn about the uh, de development of apps inside Android Studio, that is why we leave the Android TV, Android OR, Android OR, Google APIs, ARM64 system image, ARM, EAY system image, Google, all this, we have left, left all this. So, we just install the elements that are required. Here we see that Google, Google APIs, Intel, x86 Atom system storage register, that is for the Android emulator. Now, in the next SDK tool, here are the list of available SDK software development Keep developer tools. Once these are installed, Android Studio will automatically check for updates. So be careful when you click or check the boxes that to be installed by default. Check so package details to discern available version of SDK tools. So if you want to uh, know more about these tools, then you can click the show package so that each of the tool and its sub element would be detailed so. Now we, for now we have to see uh, those elements which are needed for the emulation of applications. So here Android emulator is installed, 
Now this is important. Intel x86 emulator accelerator, Huxham installer 6.2.1 installed, and here it is installed means so with every Intel computer with hardware acceleration enabled through bias settings, then the emulator will run faster. This is not mandatory, but if you want a faster uh, application checkup times, as well as uh, if you want emulator to run this application after you complete half of the application, and in the process if you create the log files, then you can from the log uh, category event logs you can know how the application is opening, application is closing, all these are sort of the course which needs to be done from time to time and this should be learned in the later stages. So next is the SDK updated sites, those are updated already. Here the list of Intel action is updated. If you have not updated this one, then you should update it so that it will run, uh, so that emulator will run easily. Thank you.